Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I have two more Surefire flashlights. Uh, the two I have here are technically almost the same. Um, they're called the Chroma. And what the Chroma is, it's variable LEDs, but there's also different color of LEDs, hence the name Chroma. Um, now this one is just the standard Chroma. This one is the mil-spec version. Um, there's quite a bit of difference between the two actually. And um, there's pluses and minuses to both. But first we'll go with the standard Chroma. Um, right now it's locked out of its normal position and the lockout is basically twisting the cap, tail cap out a little bit so nothing will happen. Um, if I turn it on slightly, um, you'll notice right around here there's a series of 16, I think it's 16, um, LEDs and um, it there's different, um, L yeah, it's actually 16. Um, now, there's only two variants for this standard Chroma, not the mil spec, but the regular one. Eight turn red and eight turn blue. Now, this center spot right here is a white, um, a standard white. Um, if you pull out just a little bit, it'll turn to the 3.4 lumen, not that one right there that's your standard 3.4 and if you twist the tail cap all the way you'll get a a really nice firm 50 lumens right there um, but you can also twist it out now this tail cap right here or the selector ring actually goes between all your different um, colors so right now it's white if I move it over a little bit it turns to red now this is low um, as you turn it to the right it'll it'll eventually um, cycle through all the different colors and everything. So right now it's on a low red and those are the eight lumens right or the eight LEDs right there. So if I turn it again, it'll go to high red. Now if I go over to the right a little bit more, oh, actually it's to the left apparently. If I go to the left, there's blue, high blue. There's high blue, sorry. Low blue, high blue, white. And if I go to the right, high blue, low blue white, low red, high red. Now for this one, it's really kind of nice because you can not only select just the white, if you turn it all the way, you can actually have the white as well as red. So you can have, you can do very different um, tones, tone coloring, as well as just different, um, however you want, want to mix the colors. I know blue is helpful for looking into blood, so can have a blue and the white mixed together and it really helps with looking for the blood. Um, but overall it's it's nice but the tail cap goes on forever and ever. It doesn't actually stop compared to if you go to the right it'll eventually stop but if you go to the left it just goes on forever and ever which is a big thing that I don't really care for but with the mil spec version it's slightly different. Um, you do have your red as well as blue but you also get green LEDs and infrared. Now, compared to the LEDs before, it was eight, or no, regular Chroma, it was eight red and eight blue. But for the mil spec, it's four red, four blue, four green slash yellow, and four infrared. So the infrared isn't very bright. And also, it doesn't have a selector between high and low for your different LEDs. There is a high and low for the actual um, spot, but besides that, it's nothing else. But right here is your low spot, and twist a little more, high spot. Um, so we'll go through the different, there's green, yellow right there. That's green slash yellow, it looks green to yellow to me. If I go a little bit more, there's blue, there's red, and I don't know if you can see it, but that's infrared also. But what's kind of cool about this, I know it's not really too fancy, but you can actually, if you go slow enough, you can actually get a mixture of colors. So you can get purple out of that one, and... Uh, whatever color that would be if you mix it. But besides that, that's about the only plus. And this does stop. Eventually you can only go so far and it stops, which is kind of cool. But um, the infrared isn't really that bright. Um, you can probably see it, maybe. I don't know. But besides that, that's my only plus and minus about this. I mean, it's a good... The mil spec is, is pretty nice um, compared to the other one. But uh, they do both have their pluses and minuses, whereas this has high and low plus a little, quite significant amount of lumens more for your highs, for your um, LEDs. But besides the spot, both has the same exact um, 50 
50 lumens for your high. Um, they both take your two standard Surefires, 123As. Um, this is resting up against a circuit board, so it is not mountable on a weapon. But besides that, the clip is really nice. It's a very heavy duty clip right there, so it won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, this is this is not a clicky um, tail cap. It is a pressure sensitive one, so um, just push it down slightly for your um, 3.4, and then push it all the way in for your 50. So and it's got a really nice beam with a lot of spill also, which is really kind of cool. So there you have it. There's your two Karamas right there. Thank you.